Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to pull off an absolute masterclass and trade on Polkadot, one of the most bullish cryptos out there. Just keeps going up and up and up, and everybody thinks that with the parachains, blah, 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 whatever, whatever, it will just continue surging higher forever, and it's so bullish in that if you short it, you will get wrecked, and here we are to short it in this video. Currently down 600, 800 bucks with commissions. And we see an absolutely beautiful pattern here in Polkadot. So I'm going to show you this. Check this out. So I'm not sure if you're seeing it already, but if you're not, I'm going to point it out. So check this out. Look, all-time high or, or peak set right here. Pull back, set a new all-time high. Set a peak, pull back, set a new all-time high, pull back. And so what do you notice? We're going to set a new all-time high. It's going to lead to a pullback, okay? And so I know this might sound a little weird, like, oh, all-time high pullback, all-time high pullback. But you can just see this pattern just playing itself out completely here every single time. And so what you're going to notice is whenever we break this high right here, see this high? What do we do? We go up higher 3.5% before pulling back here. Check this out. Boom, 7% pullback. Okay, check this out. We break this all-time high or this high right here. How much higher do we go before we actually stop? We go up 2.19% before we pull back here. Check this out. 4.4%. And so today, what do you notice about every all-time high break or every one of these breaks? Here it was like 3.2%, I think, 3.6%. Then here on this all-time high break, it was 2.2%. And so every time we're going higher, we're having diminishing returns on the way up. The percentage that we're moving higher past that all-time high is getting lower. And on top of that, we see a major volume divergence. You can see it. It is clear as day. As we continue to move higher, we move higher on less and less volume, which is showing us that less buyers are coming into this and, and less buyers are here to actually take the price higher. So when we have a massive volume divergence and when we have a diminishing return to back that up, right? We, we broke the all-time high here, went up 3%. Broke the all-time high here, went up 2%. And now we're breaking the all-time high. We're struggling to move that much higher. This is likely to be a 1% move past the all-time high, if that. And, and we are expecting the pullback to come here shortly. So whether that looks like this and then pullback or just this pullback, we do expect it to happen. On top of that, guys, patterns are so important when you're a trader and when you're trying to nail trades based on charts. Let me show you this, guys. So do you see Kusama right here? All right. Now look at Polkadot. Now tell me, okay, let's go to the 20-minute time frame. Tell me that this is not the exact same time frame. Watch, we're going to go out to the 20-minute time frame. Now look at this, guys. Look at that pattern. I'm not sure if you see it. Look at this. Boom, boom, boom. Right here, exact same formation. Boom, boom, boom. And so look at this. Look at this, right? So boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. We set the peak here. Uh, and, and polka dot, boom, boom, boom. We're going to set the peak here. It's going to be somewhere around here is where the peak will be set. It's the exact same pattern, and it makes sense because polka dot and Kusama are brothers, right? Kusama is just the, the little brother chain of it. So, boom. I mean, it's the exact same thing as Kusama, and Kusama has already played out like that. So now we get like, this is like our cheat sheet. We get to copy the homework here, and, and we get to do the homework on the here and short it here. So, that's why we're in, currently down 2600 2500 bucks. Clearly, you can see there's just no emotions involved, though, because it's not about your P&L. It's about the charts and about making sure you set yourself up to succeed uh, by playing these chart patterns. So this is an easy pattern, and this is one we will nail. And uh, on top of that, if we look at the daily chart, like I said, you can just see it's just getting weaker and weaker. The, the gains to the upside are diminishing each and every candle. And it is running out of steam. It is running out of gas. And so for that reason, we are shorting a polka dot. And this will be a phenomenal trade. So I'm going to go ahead and just short just a little bit more. Basically just stair-stepping into the position, uh, just shorting it on the way up. It's telling us that we have a risk limit, uh, that we need to raise our risk limit. So we will do that. And now we can short another 10%, 11%. So let me show you the plan, actually. Okay, Because, look, we know that when it breaks the high, here it broke 3%, here it broke 2%, and here it's going to break 1% to 2% again most likely. And so 
the higher we get, the more aggressive we want to get when we're adding to this trade. So let's go ahead and mark. So at 55.1 would be a 1.25% gain. So I want to actually go ahead and mark this down. So 55.1, and then let's say it's a 2% gain from the from the all-time high break. 2% gain would be around 55.6. So this is where I really want to get aggressive. And then the absolute emergency backup if it if it breaks out higher, I'm going to say it's going to be around 3% above the all-time high break. So that's going to be around 56.28. And uh, we're going to draw a line there so we know, hey, if it gets there, you better get aggressive. Okay, so we're going to mark that in red. And boom, that's kind of our plan. These are the mouse traps we're setting. And, and these are where we want to be really getting aggressive and adding to the trade, not cutting for a loss here like most people would do. Okay, so... Remember, a lot of people get emotional when they see they're down a little, but the only way you're going to actually beat those emotions and stay profitable in this market is if you know how to trade charts, patterns, and notice the divergencies that are going to lead to reversals like this trade right here. So I will keep you up to date, and like I said, I do believe this will be an absolute master class and a, a beautiful trade. So it's just a matter of time now, and we're about to find out. So let's do it. All right, so guys, we nailed the crap out of this trade. What did I tell you at the beginning of the video? I told you this would be a master class and a master trade just literally like 20, 30 minutes after entering in short, currently up 15K. Now, the funny thing is I even went on Twitter and kind of trolled and messed around here. So if you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you do that. I actually gave this trade in real time here. You can see, so I, I went here 56 minutes ago, which is basically when we got into the trade, right? 56 minutes ago is right here. I put shorting dot I don't think it'll get above 56.3 or as the worst case it could rip higher one last time before setting the top but looks like a beautiful Jenga tower and I'm about to ruin family game night so the funny thing is we get a bunch of comments saying like uh, I think we're gonna push way above 56 we need as many shorts as we can get to send us up over 100 keep them coming lol not gonna make it don't agree with this. And so that was my my like my nail in the cough. And that's when I knew I had nailed the trade is when the consensus is against you, yet you're extremely confident and you know that what the charts are telling you. That's how you nail the trade for sure. Okay, so then I then I kind of mess around here and I go, fuck, why did I short dot? I'm getting wrecked. Looks like I'm not gonna make it since that's what people were saying in my previous tweets. So just kind of funny stuff, guys. If you're not following Twitter, I would go and do that. I mean, that was a, a, a live trade you pretty much could have taken that I posted in real time. So, all right, guys, we are going to take a little bit of profit here uh, on 2,000 contracts uh, because we're uh, hitting the support level right here. And so we want to make sure we get out uh, with some profits here. I'm going to move this limit order up, and that should get filled here on a tick down. So the reason you want to take profit, I mean, we do think it'll go lower overall, right? But you want to be taking profits at key support levels. So this is indeed a key support level where it could bounce up. And so, you know, that's important because, I mean, then, hey, it, if it bounces up, you can add back to the trade, right, with these contracts. I mean, that's the whole point of trading is you don't have to stay in the whole time, you know, and, and you can trade around the positions. So... Boom, we've now covered our uh, trading commissions, right? The fees to jump in this trade have now been covered. Half of those limit orders have been filled. And, um, yeah, making our way down. So, all right, guys, taking a little bit of profit. I will keep you up to date on this trade. Shorting polka dot before the, the auctions or whatever, however bullish it is, whatever's going on. Uh, but looking good, guys. All right. Okay, so guys, prime example of why you want to take profits at key support levels. Look at that. Boom. Instantly bounces out of there. But that does not mean we won't continue lower. See, so anything that we add, right, of the contracts that we sold, if we add it here, that is a bonus. That is a positive. That is extra cream on top of what we had done already. You see what I mean? So that's how you play effectively. And so now, look, I'm not going to go in big, but I'm just going to add just a little bit more short right here on the bounce. And, I mean, that's how you do it, guys. So, uh, good example there. Hope you're learning and hope you're enjoying this trade. Okay, so guys, at this point, right, you've got profit. You have enough to pay your bills for a few months, right? But do you just close the trade there? Do you call it a day? Well, you have to focus on the charts and look at multiple factors, not just one chart or, or not just one factor, right? Oh, my God, I'm up a little bit of money. Now I need to close and take my profit. No, you need to be coming to your decisions based on other things. So let me show you another factor 
that is crucial to our decision making process right now which is Bitcoin so look at this trend line I have drawn up here okay and I actually posted this on Twitter I said if BTC breaks this trend line this dot trade is in the bag and so if Bitcoin breaks through this trend line it will get ugly and we will see dot uh, actually drop a lot further okay so keep that in mind now that's one of the factors we're looking at next factor obviously is we need to break through the support on dot right so as we're testing it is it going to get aggressive or are we going to be able to break through now we are going to take a little bit of profit here okay just a little bit uh, 800 contracts right uh, why because look the, the truth is it's absolutely possible that it could bounce out of here and go higher right so we need to be securing profits because the truth is you'll never know hundred percent will it continue lower or could it actually bounce out of here right so you have to account for both cases and play the absolute smartest you can so taking just a tiny bit of profit I think we already collected that and so you see how look I said look we're gonna bounce out of here probably at the support then we can add and that's just cherry on top right that's extra cream uh, for us so you know that that works out perfectly and uh, that just makes you more profitable you see what I mean so uh, these are the two main factors we're looking out for can BTC break this trend line boom if it does we are golden we can calmly and easily sit through this trade and we can hold it a lot longer okay if BTC decides to hold if BTC looks like it's not gonna break through then we're probably gonna want to take profit on polka dot okay guys so hope you're enjoying this process the breakdown of what I'm thinking what I'm looking at to determine whether I should exit with profit or stay in all right so guys I've went ahead and locked in a little bit more profits here so we've got eleven and a half thousand realized and then I've reduced the position to only twenty seven hundred contracts here on dot okay and so look there's two ways to play this one is you go for the home run and you hold most of it in, for a break lower and then you make phenomenal phenomenal profits or you can play high probability and just sell at the major levels instead of hoping that it breaks through I'm a trader who I like to be in control of what I'm doing I don't really like to sit here and hope like please 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 break lower so I make a lot more money you know what I mean um, I rather go with the higher probability which is that it would hold and then if it does break through awesome I still got some skin in the game and I still got a position to to have some fun and partake in those games right but ultimately you have to know which trader are you are you the one who wants to go for the home run or are you the one who just wants to consistently nail it every single time and I like nailing stuff uh, you know 90 percent of the time so that's kinda my mindset my strategy and so that's why I've reduced the position and this way you know there's no way you can go wrong right there's no way you can mess up a good trade now and no matter what it's still gonna be a good trade whether this bounces against us or if it drops lower either way it's gonna be a good trade now right so that's just how I play it but remember the key thing is to determine which are you and what's your style so that's what I'm doing for this particular trade um, and yeah we'll keep you up to date here okay so you can see it's been a pretty good decision to take profits here right imagine you just continue to hope and hope and hope it breaks lower well you would probably only be up around five to six thousand right now whereas we've already locked in eleven thousand and we still got more to go uh, potentially here right so that's just how I play it there is no right or wrong way to play it but uh, you know the, the key is to stick with your strategy so if you're gonna go for home runs you need to always go for home runs in my opinion for the most part if you want to play consistent you gotta always try to play consistent right so uh, that being said, I want to show you BTC, how it's holding. It's holding well so far, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to look out for this level right here. Kind of, I, I notice a lot of times when you're hitting a bottom, first off, you can see this previous support level is now turning into resistance right here, right? This double bottom is now turning into the top over here. So for as long as Bitcoin is for the most part underneath this level-ish, right? It can go a little bit above and stuff. But as long as it's holding below here and it's not really blasting out, right? If Bitcoin blasts out higher, I want out, all right? I want to get out if Bitcoin starts blasting out of this bottom, right? But as long as Bitcoin's actually just kind of kind of just going sideways, not really doing much here, I'll stay in. You see what I mean? But as soon as it blasts out, I'm out, okay? Because that is going to be a sign of a bottom and a hold of this trend of support. You see what I mean? But yeah, so usually, right? Okay, so right now it is holding support. But the key characteristic is if it bounces out. If it's just kind of staying stagnant, that's weak price action, okay? And then it is actually has a good probability of breaking lower. All right, so guys, it's not looking like DOT is going to break lower for now. So I am going to go ahead and close half of what we got. 
So that'll be 1,900 contracts uh, that we need to close here. And then, one of, fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, man. I might just get out. Because I feel like there's no need to fight it right now. So what I do is I leave behind one contract, right? So I'll, I'll put, fuck it. Let's get out, guys. All right, fuck it. All right, so total profits for the trade so far, 13680 Could have been more, but uh, it was a little indecisive there. Could have got out uh, down here at the bottom, but it's all good. So look, man, to be honest, I still think there's a very good chance DOT is going to go lower. Um, but what I want to show you is an example. So check this out. So you see Kusama here. Uh, I shorted it the other day right here. Then we dropped and I collected profits right here and right here. And then, see, so it bounces back up and then it comes back lower. It's probably exactly what could happen here on Polkadot. So we could see it. Look, it, it just continues to hold here at this level. Um, you know, so boom, that means you're collecting profit here. In here, which is what we did, right? And so that would be just like Kasama. See, so basically, if you can't break lower, fine, fuck it. We'll break through uh, lower later. You see what I mean? So now I can wait for a bounce and then retarget an entry in because overall, the trade is still the same. Uh, Polkadot is out of gas and it is very likely to reverse lower, especially when we look at the chart of BTC. I mean, this is just not the strongest hold so far at support, but yeah, it is holding support so far. So what can we do in BTC? Possibly bounce higher, come back and retest, right? And so that's going to be our job to reposition and get back in. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and post this video for you guys today. That's our trade on Polkadot. And I just keep one contract to see uh, what the trade could have been. Like, for example, Kusama, I was in an amazing trade. Look, that Kusama trade I was in last night would be up 35%, but... I decided to get some sleep instead of staying up all night, right? Pulling an all-nighter to trade that uh, position there. So, uh, guys, before we end off this video, I want to point out if you didn't realize at this point, I've got members who are who have been in this exact same trade as me, who just made the same profits as me, and that's through our coaching program. So you can also join. That being said, I cannot accept anyone with a 10K account uh, because we are pretty pretty full on spots right now. So the only way, if you are a bull shark and you're trying to get into our program with just a 10K account, you do, you do need to schedule a 20-minute call because I will not just accept anyone with a 10K account because, like I said, my plate is a little full right now. Um, but that being said, yes, you can sign up for completely free. You do not pay until you make the profits and you get in the same exact trades as me. So if you want to join us and trade uh, with me, make sure to sign up at crashtrading.com. And then, guys... If you look into, you know, how did I nail this trade, guys? How did I, how did I know I was going to be right? How did I say this was going to be a master class before the trade even happened? How did I hold when I was down like $6,000 initially when I first entered? How did I hold and how was I so confident, guys? It's all thanks to the charts. When you know how to read the charts, you can keep your cool and, and just trade profitably. So if you want to learn how to read charts and, and take our technical analysis course where I show you everything I know about charts, Make sure to get started here on our website. And uh, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Take care, and I hope you enjoy this one. Bye.